Hey guys, welcome back. And if you are new, hi, welcome. My name is Melissa, and today I have my weekly grocery haul for you guys. As you can, and as you can see, it's not a lot this week. If you are new, we are um, a family of vegan and non-vegan member family members, so we always have a variety of different things in our grocery hauls. I welcome everybody to my channel, whether you are vegan or not. I also do the vegan keto diet for the, over the past year. I've lost a ton of weight. I'll leave that playlist right above here if you want to check out my progress. And I'm still working on that one year. I know, guys. I know I keep saying it. I just have. It's been a little bit crazy lately, and I need to sit down and do that one year update for you guys, so you can see the changes that have occurred in the past year. Anyway, so I will leave, that, like I said, that playlist is linked right above. Um, also, you won't see a lot of produce as well because every other week I do a Miss, the Misfits Market um, box, which is a box of organic produce that's sent right to my door. It is amazing. So um, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell notification because that video will be up tomorrow and you can see all the produce that I got for the uh, next two weeks or most mostly two, usually it lasts about two weeks. Um, but it is it is totally amazing and I will leave that playlist above right here for you guys as well a whole playlist of the past boxes and you got that way you can check out and see what I got and Let's get into this. I went to my local shop right got some really great deals I use my Ibotta app which I'll tell you about at the end how you guys can save money using a it's a free app It's totally free but and then also um, I will let you guys know the individual prices and then at the end I will give you the total and my grocery budget if you are new here is usually a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars a week more or less it usually always averages out you know sometimes I could spend a little bit more sometimes less but it will usually average out to be about that so let's get into this let me show you what we got this week all right so I picked up some cliff bars for my daughter she really enjoys these in her lunches and also she has like after school activities it's a quick you know you know easy thing that she can grab and go these were on sale for 88 cents this week which is a really great price a great stock up price although I probably should have bought more but anyway so I got two of the cool mint I got one peanut butter toffee buzz um, I also got the what is it sweet and salty chocolate chunk with sea salt chocolate chip and then these are new for her to try. These are the nut butter filled ones. Usually these are not on sale and included with the other ones, but they were. So I grabbed these as well, you know, for 88 cents, can't beat it. Um, and then I also grabbed her, actually there were two of these Luna peppermint bars, but she already grabbed one because she had to run out the door earlier. Um, because usually I get my, usually do my, I usually get buy my groceries Friday nights and usually film the next morning and then, then you guys get to see it on Sunday. So she's already ran out the door and grabbed one of these to go. So that's why there's only one sitting here as well as you probably see a couple other things are already missing because that's how it goes around here. Anyway, so these, like I said, these were 88 cents. Also picked up some bread. I picked up some bagels. Already, I think one or two missing here. Um, and this is the Shoprite brand, their bowl and basket. So I got the bagels. Were at dollar ninety nine, and then just got a package. We still do have some bread in the freezer, but I always just like to buy another one just just to have just in case. Um, and this is the bowl and basket as well. Just you know, just regular white like sandwich bread. And this was a dollar. Also got some cereal, although we do have from our past grocery hauls, um, and I'll leave the whole grocery haul playlist right here if you guys want to go check out the past ones. Um, but I think a few weeks ago we bought a ton of cereal that I had found on clearance at Walmart, which we still do have some. Um, and then I think I think Shoprite as well. I think I had purchased some, but this was a really great price, and I figured the family could try this out. Um, so these were like a digital cute Shoprite has like digital coupons you put right onto your like your. Um, store card. Um, so these were only 99 cents. So I got them the Kellogg's Ego cereal and then I got them the Hershey Kisses because I have a thing about cereal. I feel, I feel like cereal is pretty pricey and I will only buy it if I can get it, you know, somewhere around a dollar. Um, especially these boxes are pretty small, you know, so um, I just figured that would be like a little treat for them. And normally they use this as a, a snack, not even like a cereal. It's like it's a snack or a treat for them, you know, like without milk. So I got those. Um, also picked up, which I have, I'm very excited because I have not had it in a while, some Good Karma Flax Milk. Um, and this was on sale for $3.49. And then it was a $1.50 rebate on Ibotta. So that knocked it down to, goodness, what is it, less than $2, which is a really great price for the Good Karma Milk. Um, so excited to have that back again. And the macros. And um, if you do keto, whether it's vegan or not, and you, you know, or if you just want to have some non-dairy products, um, in your diet, um, the macros on this are really good. Look at the calories, only 25. I don't count calories, I only count my net carbs. Um, a little bit of fat, but I do add other fats in my diet, and the carbs are only, you're only getting one carb for a whole cup, so 
um, and there are the ingredients for you guys if in case you want to check them out I do like to show you sometimes some of those certain things that way in case you're interested uh, but I really love the good karma milk it is really really good they do have a protein one like a higher protein one because I don't think this one has I'm not sure if this one has a lot. Yeah, this one has zero protein, but they have a protein one as well, but that one is a little bit higher carb for me. So like I said, I usually try to be a little bit lower carb and I get plenty of protein in my other other foods and things. Um, I also picked up the Silk whipped whip, Heavy Whipping Cream yet again because it's, this is so good. I love making like little whip, you know, uh, whip, making whipped cream. Um, what I've been doing is adding like a little bit of like um, some protein, chocolate protein powder in, the, in there, make like a little chocolate mousse really good, or I put it in my coffee. So, so good. It is zero net carbs in case you're looking for a non-dairy, um, you know, creamer to add to your coffee or whatever it is, or like I said, or making whip, whipped cream, the calories there. Um, just figured I'd show you really quick. But this was um, $4.49, not on sale like it was last week, but there was a $1.50 rebate as well. Oh no, actually I think it was $2 rebate on Ibotta. So I got $2 back on each of these. So that marked it down to only $2.49. So that was a really great price as well because it is a little bit pricey, but totally worth it, guys. I highly recommend it, give it a try. And let me know if you do, because it's really good. Also, this is a new try for me as well. This is from the Good Karma brand as well, and this is their plant-based sour cream. I didn't get to Aldi's this week, because you guys, if you're one of my regulars, I love the Aldi's sour cream. It's so good. But I want to try the Good Karma one and see how it is. Um, so this was on sale for $3.50, $3 and then there was $8.50 rebate back on Ibotta, so I figured that was a good time to try it. That's the thing that I love about Ibotta. Sometimes you'll find some of your regular items that you love already on there and you get great deals or sometimes you find new items and that way you can try them for a really great price. You know, because sometimes some things can get a little pricey. Although, I want to say as a vegan, because some people think being a vegan is expensive, it is not. It totally is not. Go, like I said, go watch my videos and you will see my, go watch my what I eat in a day videos, my grocery hauls, and you will see that it is really not expensive to be vegan. Um, anyways, here are the macros for you guys in case you want to see. There are two carbs for two tablespoons, which I think is a little bit higher than the Aldi's one. I think the Aldi's one is only one net carb for two tablespoons, but very excited to give that a try. And let's see, what else we got? We also have some of our favorite uh, tomato sauce, and this is the Hoboken Farms marinara sauce. If you're one of my regulars, I do the, I am a uh, blogger for the, it used to be the GFAF Expo every year, but now it is called the Nourished Festival. Um, I'll link their website down below. It is totally gluten, like a gluten-free uh, festival and then they have a lot of like um, you know vegan and keto and all kinds of different items so we have enjoyed this um, this brand for so many years and when I was at the expo actually at the festival I should I they changed the name the festival this past year they gave me a bunch of two dollar coupons so I still had some left this was on sale for three ninety nine and because it's usually seven ninety nine and it's really it is like the best sauce it's so good if you're looking for a good jar of sauce it, I highly highly recommend it um, Anyways, it was $3.99, and then I had two coupons left that were $2 off, so knocked it down to $1.99 for each jar. Also, this has been my latest addiction. These are the sparkling ice caffeine drinks. I love the black raspberry. These were on sale. I've been getting them at Walmart because they were a little bit cheaper, but the uh, shop where I had them on sale for $1.25. There were actually four here, but I already drank one when I came home last night. Um, but they are so good. It's my latest addiction. Like I said, black raspberry is my favorite. They also have a blue raspberry and like a, a citrus one as well, which is okay. But I like the black raspberry one the best. Um, let's see. Also pick these up. This is not something I, I don't usually buy this type of things like the this, this these prepackaged mm -hmm. items like these. I'd rather just make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and things like that. But I figured for a special treat for my daughter and these were on Ibotta. Um, these are, there's two, I guess two minis in each pouch. So you get four pouches. These are the Skippy peanut butter and jelly, peanut, peanut, oh, peanut and jelly minis, I guess they are, but I know they're, like I said, not the best, best thing for them to have, but these were $2.99 on sale and there was a 75 cent rebate. So I just figured for an extra, you know, just for a special treat. Also picked up some meatballs as well for the meat eaters in the house. And these are the armor. Armor Original Meatballs, and these are, let's see how many ounces, these were a 14 ounce bag. These were on sale for $2.49, but then there was a digital coupon, which knocked it down to $1.99 a bag. Also for myself, I picked up, I am totally obsessed with this, the Beyond Meat Ground Beef. Um, this is a, yeah, if you're not familiar with this, it's um, like a plant-based ground beef, basically. It is very high protein, very low net carbs. So even if you are not vegan and just want to try something, you know, um, 
you want to you know have less meat in your diet and you know do you know have meat free days um, this is a great addition um, it is you know pretty high calorie but that's okay the hot the fat is really good as well there is the protein you can see there's only one net carb per serving and there are four servings per package so usually myself i will eat usually about a half a package if you've seen some of my what i eat in a day videos i'll leave that linked right above here for you guys um you know i usually tell you guys i usually eat about half a package of this but that's only two net carbs and then i add like veggies and things to it so so good i highly highly recommend it also another favorite meat-free item um which sometimes these are a little pricey as well but they happen to be on sale this week so i grabbed a couple um these are the pure farmland uh plant-based uh breakfast patties in the maple flavor you get eight of them in here. These were on sale for $5.99. They're usually, I think they're usually like $7.99, I think is usually the price. So I figured that was a good price. The macros on these are not too bad either. I'll just show those to you really quick. Since it's a smaller grocery haul, I can kind of show you guys some of the macros that way in case you guys are interested. So one patty, there are the calories, the fat, and the carbs are a little bit higher for one, but not, you know, overall not too bad if you keep your carbs on other things pretty low for the day. So they are three net carbs for one patty. So another favorite of the of ours from that brand as well are these plant-based burger patties. And these have a dairy-free cheddar alternative. You get four burgers in here. These are on sale for $5.99. I figure for four burgers, it's not too bad. Um, these are a little bit higher carb than the Beyond Meat burgers, but we do enjoy these as well. There are the calories and the fat, the macros um, uh, for the carbohydrates, I was going to say, um, are 10 and then fiber is 3. So your net carbs are a little bit higher for one, uh, but if you keep your carbs low for the rest of the day, you will still be pretty good. I usually eat anywhere from 20 to 24 net carbs in a day. So, you know, all in all, that's not too bad. And then the last two things um, were I picked up some of these, the free range eggs, um, my son absolutely loves to eat eggs a lot, so I've been trying to buy him the better, the better, the better ones, the free range ones, because um, they do say those. The cage, I guess, free range is better than the cage free. I don't know. Leave me your comments down below. I don't eat eggs obviously anymore, so I'm not really 100% sure. I guess it says yes. Outdoor access, they have a lot more outdoor access, so I guess it is better. Anyway, so these were on a digital coupon for 99 cents for one dozen, and then they were also on sale for $1.99. So I paid $1.99 for one, which I figured was a really great price, because I think these are normally like $3.99 or $4.99 for a dozen. I know, very pricey. And then the one was 99 cents. So overall, $3 for two dozen of egg, two dozen eggs that are the really good ones. You know, I thought that was a really great stock up price. We still do, I think, maybe have like a half a dozen from last week, so we, we will be set on eggs for quite a while. All right, guys, so that was it for this week's grocery haul. Like I said, it was a very small haul this week. We still have quite a bit of groceries from the last, you know, few weeks. I'm going to leave the total right here on the screen for you guys. And also, I wanted to let you guys know, if you are new to Ibotta, it's basically a free app. I'm not sponsored or anything. I just want you guys to save money like I do and also get to try new products. You know, it's always fun to try new things and get them for free really cheap or sometimes even free sometimes they even have where you can get free items um as well so i will leave that link right down below and if you use that link you will get ten dollars back for free when you do your first rebate and then you're just going to save thousands of dollars thousands of dollars as you use this app as i have done over the years i've saved so many uh, so much money um, and basically what you can do is you can put it into your PayPal account when you earn it and or you can use it for gift cards, all different things. Sometimes I just roll it over into my next grocery haul, use it any way you'd like. Um, and then also wanted to mention Fetch Rewards. It's another great one as well where you just scan your receipts and you get points and you can use it for gift cards. And sometimes they have like bonus points as well. So when you sign up, I think you get like 2000 points if you use my link down below, which is basically two dollars for free. Um, and then what I usually do is I save up my points and I use it for my Amazon. Um, I do it, I use it for my Amazon purchases. So definitely recommend those as well. And then also there's a whole bunch of other links down below for you guys on other ways that you guys can save some money. Those are always linked down below in my um, in the description bar. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's grocery haul. Like I said, a very small one. Make sure if you are new here, um, make sure to subscribe before you leave, hit the bell notification, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up. That way I know that you like it and helps YouTube know that you are enjoying it as well. So as always guys, I thank you for watching and until next time, I will see you soon. Bye guys.